Hello, my name is Ben Thompson. Now today we're going to begin our discussions on being self-sufficient. Now, what do we mean by this? There's so many um, explanations I could give, but the easiest way to say it would be that um, we want you to be able to provide for yourself if some incident occurred that prevented an outside aid from reaching you. Now, some other things that we'll also discuss will also be uh, ways to improve uh, our lifestyles through local means and also to provide a more home-centered industry. And I have a, for our first discussion, I'd like to talk about probably something you, you probably wouldn't think too much about. But this is both economical and easy and in fact better for you. And that is, um, I suppose you could call it shampoo and conditioner. Now, I have two empty ketchup bottles here that I filled halfway with water. Now, we're going to make homemade shampoo and conditioner, basically. And, and both are essential. And I find that this is uh, much cheaper than um, buying shampoo. Now, you're going to need a few things. You'll need these two ketchup bottles I, I talked about already. Uh, water, which you, you can just get out of the sink. Uh, apple cider vinegar and baking soda. Now, you can, I know a good place to buy baking soda is actually Smart and Final. The one in Union Landing I know has for sure. I haven't checked the others yet. But the one in Union Landing has these huge buckets for only like about three to four dollars each and they're huge. These, um, it's well, well worth it. It's a very good deal. And I know my family, we just grab as many tubs as we can and use it uh, for that means. And baking soda itself is a really good uh, cleaner. So we got these two bottles here. The one on the left will be for our shampoo. The one on the right will be for our conditioner. So you just take a spoonful baking soda and do that a couple times. And that is your shampoo. And then you can fill the rest of it with water. And put the cap back on. And give it a good shake. Now for the other one, just a simple. Just take some, just a little bit, doesn't need a lot. Just a little bit like that. And then fill that with water too. And put the cap back on and do a little shake. There we have our shampoo, baking soda, and conditioner vinegar. Now these two things go hand in hand. You can't use one without the other. Now, uh, the baking soda it leaves your hair very clean, but it can make it dry. And vinegar is what conditions your hair, making it very uh, soft. And if you if you if you don't use vinegar, your hair is going to get dry from this. But if you use both of these, your hair will be more shiny. This is very cheap and economical, requiring very little 
things, it'll be a lot better economically for your family. And besides that, you have a lot of uh, the chemicals that are in shampoos and conditioners. And these are these actually harm the hair more than than um, than um, not using it at all. Now, these uh, you what what I what I do you just you just take it upside down and, and squeeze a little bit out, and then you can uh, just kind of put your hair around like that, get it all in there. This also helps with dandruff too, so if you're worried about having a dandruff shampoo, this will actually be better for uh, the dandruff. And then, uh, you, after rubbing it all in your hair, you rinse it out, and then you grab the vinegar and do the same thing, and then rinse it out. And so, that, my uh, good neighbors, is a cheap and economical shampoo and conditioner. If something bad were to happen, or stuff became so expensive because of transportation or whatever, you can now make your own shampoo and conditioner so that you don't have to worry about it. Thank you for taking time to watch this video. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you're not already subscribed so that you can continue to receive this information. And I hope that you have a good day. Thank you.